Well, the mood is sombre here at uh, Colonel Space Programme headquarters as, uh, as Jebediah did not make it back from the last mission. Well, he did briefly make it back from the last mission before exploding in some kind of... Well, it wasn't even a fireball. He didn't even go out with any particular drama. Uh, it was purely down to my idiocy in, uh, in deploying the chute just a smidge too late. Oh, well. Onwards and upwards. Now, if we, uh, if we head back to our, our vehicle assembly building, the VAB, I, I believe you'd call it, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll load up the, uh, the, the previous project, uh, the Bumson uh, X2A1. Yes. Uh, right, here we go. 31 parts in six stages. Yes. 30 parts in seven stages. It's, it's here, look. There you go. Load up that one. We don't, we don't load the autosave. No, sir. Uh, that's, uh, that's got uh, peril written all over it. So, this is what we attempted to launch and it didn't work. Fine. Now, all I want to do for my next launch is, is get it back down again. Uh, and ideally, not spinning dramatically out of control while we're, uh, you know, airborne. Um, now, someone in the comments, <laughs> you could tell I'm onto a winner when we actually get comments, uh, said that there was uh, an auto-stabilizing uh, kind of doodah uh, that we could use. Uh, and I don't know if that's a button or if it's a... Uh, oh, hold on, what's that? A too hot temperature gauge. Oh, we'll slap that on the side. Uh, cargo utility parachute. Uh, we've, we've got one. Uh, aerodynamics, this is all we've got. Well, maybe it's under control, maybe? Is control a thing? I'm command and control. No, we've got no command or indeed control. So it may be that there's a button that, uh, that one could press in order to, uh, to keep their, their machinery upright and, uh, and functional. Uh, but uh, at the present time, I don't know what that is. Right, okay, let's, let's simplify here. I think... Uh, that due to weight imbalance uh, is the uh, is the primary reason that it all went Pete Tong last time around. Uh, Pete Tong, for those of you unaware, because you're outside the UK, is a, uh, a mediocre radio disc jockey who specialises in dance music. Uh, Pete Tong is then Cockney Rhyming Slam for wrong. It went Pete Tong, it went wrong. Okay, good, there you go. I am somewhat educational. Uh, but it's all gone a bit, Pete Tong. Is, uh, that's solid. Uh, people will know what you're talking about in the UK if you say that. Now, is that a... Uh, is that a I think the, the, the kind of the, the hazard lines there indicate that that is a separation point. Now, this looks significantly safer to me. I mean, well, you know, safer is, uh, is subjective, but... Uh, it's, I think it's going to be a little bit more balanced. I'm still uncertain about the uh, the four amigos we've got at the bottom there, but uh, but you know what? You never you never went to Mars without killing a few astronauts along the way. Anyway, we're we're taking an engineer up today whose name I forget. It's probably Bill. I mean, Bill Kerbal is uh, Kerman. Kerman, that's the one. Is the uh, is the next one on the list? Anyway, this is the uh, Bumson X two A double I, and uh, we're going straight to the launch pad. We're not going to mess about with it too long. I'm just hoping that uh, that we're more. I I'm, I'm not checked my staging, have I? No, it could be could be woeful. But until I pull the trigger on the thing, it doesn't really matter anyway. We can we can go and have a do over any time we please. Now then, auto stabilization. Is it one of these buttons? Maneuver mode. What's that? No, that seems to be something that one does in orbit. Okay, toggle map. Yeah, docking mode. No, staging mode. Well, yeah, that's that's what we're playing with to start with. So, first stage, fire the uh, fire the big lads at the bottom there. Second stage, detach it. Yes. Uh, third stage, fire the secondary engine. Now, I'm going to hold off on that for as long as I can. Uh, I'm going to try not to fire it until uh, oh, it's Valentina. Valentina's having a pop today. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to try and hang on to that until. Uh, until I feel like we're under control. Or obviously, if we're not under control, we'll jettison it as quickly as possible. Which is, which is just grand. Right, we'll, uh, we'll put throttle to moderate before we, uh, before we roll here. Uh, or will we? No, I think we'll, save, we'll even save the throttle for when uh, the four amigos have, uh, have burnt out. This is perilous, friends. Anyway, blast off. 
in. We're away. Okay, so uh, all right, this is looking. We'd see. Look, we're already starting to starting to tilt a little bit. Now, I would have got my joystick out for this, uh, except for the fact that uh, hold on, more boost, go. That should be firing my liquid fuel booster. You haven't got one. All right. Well, jettison that. Right. How? What's our speed? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. 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 Don't be like that. There's not enough weight at the bottom. The fins. The fins are the thing that are doing it. Um, why are we not? Oh, you have to fire it. Right. I'll wait till we're pointing the right way. And go. Well, that that worked beautifully. Okay. Go on. Alright, okay, that did that. Can we... No, that's... That's not really made things any better. What sort of height are we at here? Oh, you say height, you mean altitude. No, stop stop spinning. Stop spinning! Keep your eye on the altitude. Well, it doesn't really matter. Get shot of that. Okay, right, well, that was... That was a ruddy disaster. I think that those fins that are supposedly there uh, to... Uh, uh, to enable us to something to uh, to to maneuver the 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 ship a little, deploy the chutes. That might be a little bit late on the deployment. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. There we go. Everything's fine. And actually, this is uh, this is quite a good landing. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, calm down. Flipping it. I might have my speakers turned up a bit loud, but uh, frankly, it all adds to the uh, to the atmosphere there. Right. Well. We're back down again, but I mean that's a lot of rocket to waste on a uh, a non-operative mission. What have we got going on here? AV tools, star mass, blah 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 blah. No, what's that do? Science. Okay, this one, nothing. That one, resources. Ah, oh, that's my fuel tank. Okay, this one, uh, we got. Oh well, we got some. We got some milestones. Uh, we've broken the speed record. Go on. Uh, we've launched our first vessel. Oh, we, uh, these are these are previous things that we've done. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Yeah, fine. Um, fine. Okay. Well, we performed an EVA, and that's good. We got three thousand two hundred something. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if that's money uh, or if uh, I, I've, I've I've absolutely no idea. Uh, regardless, there's been all of that. That's that's all good. Is there an auto stabilizer button? I think there is, you know. I seem to recall there being a button that uh, adds a bit of stabilization to uh, to the whole uh, the whole show. Where's the thing that may go? Would you like to recover your spaceship? Thank you. Recover the vessel and give me the money. So I'm less bothered about money. I'm more interested in science at this stage because I'd quite like a bit more on the uh, on the old aerodynamic side of things. The data value is worth 0.7. I'll take it. At this stage, we'll just keep going. I need 18 to get my uh, my next chunk of change. Uh, oh right, okay. This is the uh, the symbol for whatever the local currency is here. Car bucks, curb 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 bucks, maybe. Anyway, Valentina gained absolutely nothing from that. You'd think she would, given that uh, you know, given that she went up, tiddly up up and down, tiddly down down. Right, I think. No, wait, hold on, wait, no, no, no. Is there, can I undo? Yes, right. Let's put this to the test. Uh, let's get those, engage some symmetry mode. Basically, we're just going to say we won't need it. By the time you get to that stage, it's just not helpful anymore. Uh, <laughs> which is great, as far as ideas go. What a terrific plan that is. Can I, can I bolt this onto here? No, you can bolt it onto somewhere here. That might do the trick. I do have a, the next design in mind, but I want this one to work. Now, do we think that it matters that that is not in alignment with these fellas? It shouldn't do, because, you know, we're still, we're still rocking the symmetry here, although it not uh, perfectly bisecting the space between each engine may lead to a little bit of uh, rotation that is not what what uh, what we've got in mind so if i snap that to that snap point see that that feels that feels promising i still i'm still not convinced about the big lads at the bottom though 
But what? How, how much money have I got? I've got 145 grand. I started with 150 today, so we've only blown five grand on that last flight. We're going up again. Uh, this is the uh, uh, the Bomson X2A III, as well you know. To the launch pad. Right. I got a I got a good feeling about this one. Actually, I don't. I have exactly the same feeling about this one that I had about the last one. Come on, this, this loading screen could be a little bit quicker. Come on, let's, uh, come on, shot on. Uh, right, okay, who have we got today? It's Valentina again. Uh, she's she's keen for it. Well, we know what happened to the last uh, astronaut who thought, yeah, yeah, no, no, keep sending me up, boss. I can't get enough of it. You're going to go, all right, I guess uh, so that's up to you. Right, we're throttled down. Now, that one, for some reason, did not throttle up. And I'm at a bit of a loss to understand why until I go, because it's not actually attached to a fuel tank. At which point you go, well, that's redundant then, isn't it? Right. Let's uh, let's scrub this mission <laughs> and go back to... Let's go back to flight control here. Uh, <clears throat> no. Um... Back to, the, back to the space center, please, Gov. That'll be that'll be terrific. Now then, that's a that's a design flaw, right there. And I think I know what's caused it. It's because it had fuel tanks before, but I took them out in order to make the uh, the vehicle a little bit more space worthy. Turns out, of course, that it wasn't even slightly space worthy. But uh, you know, who's counting? Uh, right now, I want to. I oh know. Bang them all that back together. Take off the bottom bit. No, wait take off the bottom bit right stick that over here and then what we're looking at here that should be oh, hold on I'll tell you what let's uh, let's just this is bin it right yeah then we'll just go straight forward stage one stage two uh you know walk before we run oh that's as a that's that looks much better that it doesn't does it it but it's better uh, you know, once we've got some aerodynamic stuff on top of these solid boosters, I think uh, I think that will help us out no end. Uh, right, okay, to the launch pad. Uh, yeah, clear it. Clear the launch pad, and, uh, you yeah, know, it, it was all intact. Yep, done. Thank you. Good. Yeah, yeah. Same new rocket. Apparently, this is a new rocket. It's not, uh, it's not the old one. I should have hit the recover button. Presumably, I lost nothing there. I mean, uh, we were all fueled up and ready to go. Look at that. See, this is this is what safety looks like. Okay, uh, blast off in three. We start at five. Blast off in five. I know it's a good gag. I'm going to do it all the time. Right, we are going straight up. This is jolly positive. We're out of fuel. Bin that lot, and then give it the throttle. Activate. We are good. Whoa! What happened there? I mean, it's too much throttle. It's got to be too much throttle. If we throttle down a little bit... Well, there you go. You can see exactly what's going on. It's because it's top heavy. Did I just hit a max thrust button? I guess I, I, guess I did. Anyway, go on. Break 10k. That's it. Good. Yeah, now, if we're pointing the right way... Yeah, here we go. We use the ejection system just to propel us upward a little bit more, but we are now reaching our kind of... Uh, uh, we're slowing down quite a bit. But the atmosphere... We got to the point where the atmosphere started thinning. And uh, at that point, you're... Uh, oh, it's Bill. Bill's flying this one. Valentina decided to stay home. Probably quite wisely. Probably, probably quite wisely. What was that? Was that us breaking the uh, the speed of sound there? Eh? Oh, one would imagine we'd done that already. Flipping out, we're not that far ahead of uh, our uh, our compadre there. But that's you know, but this dif distance in altitude is clearly the effect of the uh, the jettison system, uh, jettisoning our our system. All right, good. Right, I've got the next I've got the next plan uh, in mind already, because because uh, that's how I like to roll. How, how much of a boom is this going to make? What? Keep an eye on your altitude, fool. I haven't actually tuned the parachute on this either. I'm just I'm going to assume that the parachute's going to do the thing quite nicely. Uh, we're evidently at terminal velocity. Uh, let's deploy shoot at 1800. There you go. That might make for 
for quite a genteel trip down to the surface, but hopefully it won't kill Bill in the process. Oh, actually, that that worked out quite nicely. 18, 1,800 metres was, uh, was a good deployment point. Uh, Jeb did not die in vain. No. His sacrifice was... Uh, I mean, you could you could say it was worth it. Uh, you, uh, but uh, but I don't know if Jeb would see it that way. But he has he has progressed science for all of us. Point one uh, of a point of science: the amount of science that we're gaining from these uh, these suborbital flights. Well, it's not even suborbital. These flights that go up and then down a bit. The the amount we're gaining from those are, is negligible. Right now for the uh, for the Mark IV. We're going to sling these dudes. Actually, we're going to investigate these dudes. Wait. No. Just but undo. 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 Thank you. Right. We don't want to spend any money yet. Right. What have we got there? That's these, which is... Okay. Mass. One and a half tons. Yes. And then how much do you go? 162 on the thrust. Uh, 192 kilonewtons. Okay. The big fella here... 250 kilonewtons of thrust, or 300, depending on whether you're in atmospheric something or other, or whether you're in vacuum, I would assume. Uh, so, so if you're busy, you're 192, and I'm rocking four of them, mass 1.5 tons, mass 7.6 tons. So that actually, this one, as much as it's a thrusty, a thrusty son of a gun, um, it's not actually going to achieve more. Although part of me says, shouldn't we strap one of these to the bottom of whoever's up next in the rotation and see what happens? Which is, you know, it's tempting. Uh, what do we got here? That's 197. It's not actually that much more thrusty. It's just got a bit more juice in it. Now, the other thing we can do is I want to check the weight of this science doohickey that I've got strapped to the nose. Uh, to see how heavy it is. I suspect it's not heavy enough to actually be doing anything of any... Uh, yeah, look, it's 0.05 of a ton. Now, it must be wind resistance that is causing it to uh, to, to de unstabilize the whole situation. But then what are you going... How are you going to... How are you going to resolve that at all? How, how heavy is me crew pod? Uh, it's 0.84. Okay, now well, this one... Is uh, is that cheaper? No, it's the same price. This one's lighter, right? And that surely, uh, uh, this one, this one will impact the ground. It is more tolerable to uh, to impact in the ground. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I think that one's for use in space, if I'm honest, because it's not as aerodynamic. I'm I'm having an hiring. Uh, purely because I'm not entirely sure what to do next to get me to go further. Uh, typically, you just want to slap the bigger rocket on and uh, and see what happens. Let's uh, let's go back to the old drawing board here. There you go. Beautiful work. Right, there's my decoupler. So what I'm tempted to do is just go, you know, bosh. Right? It's not subtle. Uh, the good news is that, uh, that aborting is straightforward. Uh... Do we just want to go like that, or do we want to do something a bit more dramatic? Well, you know I want to do something more dramatic, but uh, but let's 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 walk before we run. How about that as a plan? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So we were previously using liquid fuel boosters, and don't you dare tell me what to do in the comments. I'm not kidding. Don't tell me. I will figure this out. One and a half tons for that. So that shouldn't have been with that the 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 cockpit even with even with everything we had going on there the engine was still heavier than the cockpit which means that it wasn't the cockpit trying to go downwards it was too much thrust it was too much thrust that's what was doing it it was pushing itself up over the over the whatnot all right do we want to go with one of these solid numbers yeah, we really do. Okay. Uh, what kind of an idiot are you going to get to fly this? Don't really care. Whoever's up next. Right. We'll grab another one of these. Yeah. We'll stick a we'll stick a little uh, a little motor below it. Uh, yes. Motor. Yep. Right. And then we want another connector. 
Um, ooh, no, not a not a girder. We're not ready for girders yet. Oh, yeah, we've got to we've got to do some fundamentals first. Where are we looking? Payload? No. Structural couplings. Stick a coupler on the bottom, and then we'll just stick a big lad on the bottom of that. Check it out. This looks absolutely terrifying. Uh, should we put some structurals on there? Yeah, put some put some structurals on there. Uh, let's uh, let's go. Oh, oh yeah, go with three fins instead of four. No, hold on. If you match the fins to your payload, so you're looking at either four or two, then uh, then the payload should not cause you undue harm. Right. Have I done this right? Yes. Okay, inside there you've got a rocket motor. Uh, yeah. And then you've got another decoupler. And then you've got a decoupler. And you've only got one of those. It feels it feels dangerous, friends. Um I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, here's the uh here's the Mark IV. Uh yeah, the the Mark IV Bumson series. You'd have to have you'd have to have nerves of steel to go up in this because Frankly, I don't expect anyone to live. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> well, it's Bill again. He's decided that he's going to have a second crack at this. Uh, looks like everything's good. Uh, should we configure the uh, altitude? Uh, so let's up the up the tempo on the altitude a little bit. Right, safe to deploy, safe. Minimum pressure, whatevs. Yeah, good, 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 good. You can go now. Thank you. Yeah, I'm done with you. There you are. No, uh, we're done. How do I close the window? Pin, unpin, pin, un unpin, unpin. We don't need to know this. This is going to spoil the view. How do I now close that? Do we talk to this? Nope. Don't accidentally push a button, whatever you do, you clown. All right, well, we'll just go for it and see uh, see what we get. Uh, but mental note, don't overthrottle this time, and then you might not spin out of control. Blast off in five, four, three. We're away. All oh, that's that was already looking a little bit unsteady. Now, this time, I'm going to pay attention to what we get... Out of, there we go. See, there's the there's that unsteadiness I was mentioning. Yeah, this could be uh, this could be perilous. Have we got any amount of control at all? No, this is this is quite an expensive piece of kit that we're just going to yeah get shot of it. What happened there? Mayday, mayday! Oh crumbs! Parachute built. It's not going to end well for you, man. Fortunately, you weren't going that fast to begin with, but. Do we think he made it? Or is that him there rolling down? No, that's the science pod. Or oh, we should go and investigate that. Maybe we learn some science. Bill? Bill? Where's Bill? Can we... Uh, that's a catast catastrophic outcome. What happened there? We we got separation, but uh, apparently the, the big old thruster there was uh, was doing uh, was doing too much to... Uh, uh, so. Yeah. Oh dear. I beg Colonel Failure. This series exists largely because you asked for it. Right. In the next one, I don't know. I uh, we'll, we're going to come up with a, a, a Mark V that maybe doesn't kill the uh, kill the pilots. Thanks for backing the series. Uh, I'm having fun with it, and uh, and sooner or later I will I will work out exactly where I'm going wrong. Cheerio.